एवरीवन माय नेम इज सानिया महाजन आई एम ए लीगल इंटर्न इन इलेक्ट्रिक कंपनी एंड टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ माइन इज न्यूसेंस न्यूसेंस इज कंसीडर एज टॉट एज पर द इंट्रोडक्शन इज कंसर्न वी आर डिस्कसिंग नाउ अबाउट द न्यूसेंस एंड हेयर इट इज अ पर्सन इज इन टाइटल टू हिज प्रॉपर्टी हैविंग अ राइट ऑफ इंजॉयमेंट एज पर लॉ एंड इफ एनी पर्सन tries to enter into or tries to interfere in the enjoyment of right of a person then it is considered to be a tort of nuisance now we are discussing about the meaning of nuisance the word nuisance has been derived from the old french word that is nuire and which means cause harm or to hurt or to annoy in the latin word of for nuisance is nor sere which means to cause harm and thus in a general sense we can consider as nuisance as tort which means unlawful interference with person's enjoyment of land or any other right or in connection with it the interference can be in any way it can be by noise vibration heat smoke smell fumes water gas electricity excavation or disease producing germs there are some essential elements of nuisance nuisance for firstly there is a need of wrongful act that means any act which is done with an intention to cause the infringement of the legal right of another person which is considered to be as wrongful act and another essential element is damage for loss of annoyance caused to another person damage or loss or annoyance must be such that the law should consider a substantial material for the claim let us now discuss about the kinds of nuisance these are of two types that is the private nuisance and the public nuisance Pro- public nuisance is a crime which is in if a, a person interferes in the right of the public uh, that is the general public then it is a punishable offence under the law obstructing the public way by trenching or any construction or any structures or other example of public nuisance the acts which are seriously affects or interferes with the health safety or comfort of the general public is considered as public nuisance finally there is a private nuisance private nuisance is considered to be as civil wrong and it is a nuisance which a person uses or enjoy uh, the enjoyment of the right is been affected or ruined by another person it is also injurious to affect the owner of the property and physical injury uh, to his property or his health or something else an essential part of this is unreasonable interference secondly interference with the use of enjoyment of land and and there must be a damage caused to another person person has done the nuisance only when there is any inf- interference may caused by him interference to property firstly an unauthorized interference with the use of the property of another person though some object tangible or intangible assets and which causes damage to the property is actionable un- as a nuisance and a nuisance to incorporate company that is it can be interference with the right of the support of land or building or interference with the right of light or air and thus it is considered to be as a private nuisance as this was all about the nuisance and here we discuss about the kinds of nuisance and also the essential elements which are required for nuisance under a tort and if you need any information related to it please do write in a comment section and please do subscribe this channel next click